G'day guys, the student has asked me to go through this uh, calculus question with them, so I thought I'd make a video for everybody. So we've got a cylindrical tank that has a volume of 192 pi meters cubed. We've got to make this. The material for the sides costs 3 bucks a square meter and the bottom costs 9 bucks a square meter. Find the dimensions that will produce the most economical tank. Okay, so basically what we have to do here is this means we're going to be trying to minimize the cost in dollars. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a volume um, amount and we've got these um, dollars per area, so per surface area, so to speak. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to construct two equations because hopefully you guys are well aware that the equation for the volume and the equation for the surface area of a cylinder are in terms of two different variables, the radius of the cylinder and the height of the cylinder. So what we're going to use is we're going to use this information, i.e. the volume of the cylinder, to um, make the radius in terms of the height or the height in terms of the radius, and then we're going to use that so we can make the cost function in terms of just one variable. Okay, so after you know all of that, let's see what that actually even means. So we know that the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h. So we know that the volume is equal to 192 pi, and that's equal to pi r squared h. Now, hopefully it's easy to see that if we divide both sides by pi, they will cancel. And we are just left with 192 is equal to r squared h. Now we can rearrange this to be h is equal to 192 on r squared and this is going to be quite important later on so let's have a look and try and derive some sort of cost function now we've got this per square meter so we're going to be talking about surface area of this cylinder so let's go about defining that we've got the surface area of a cylinder now this is with an open top, so we're in, rather than doing the top and the bottom, so 2 pi r squared, we're just going to have pi r squared plus, then we've got the circumference times the height, so it's 2 pi r h. So for those of you that aren't intimately uh, like aware of how these formulas work, this here is our the bottom of the cylinder and this here is the sides of the cylinder. Cool. So because we know this now, we know that the bottom of the cylinder is going to cost nine bucks per square meter and the sides are going to cost three bucks a square meter. So whatever the meters squared we get for the sides we have to multiply it by three. Whatever the meter squared is for the bottom we have to multiply it by nine. Okay. So that'll give us, using all of this information, we get something that looks like this. And it's going to be, rather than being surface area, it's going to be, well, the cost of this cylinder is going to be equal to $9 times the area of the bottom. Add $3 times the area of the sides. Cool. So let's go about making, just simplifying this a little bit. We've got 9 pi r squared plus 6 pi r h. And then what we can do, now here is where, you know, you, you sort of, the tricky part is, we've got a h here. We've found out h in terms of radius. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this and we're going to stick it in there. So what that means is we've got, this is equal to 9 pi r squared plus 6 pi r, and rather than writing h, we're going to write <laughs> Cool. Now, 
what we're going to do now is we're just going to simplify it a little bit. So let's take it up here Sorry about all the arrows guys, but just make, I want to make sure you can follow my train of thought. We've got, we can't really simplify the front part, so let's do it 9 pi r squared. Add 6 times 192 is 1152 pi. And we have r divided by r squared, so we're just going to have all of this over r. Cool. Now, what we do now is we have to then, we can uh, factorize this to make the differential e easier. So we can say that the cost function is equal to. Now, we can factorize this entire thing by what goes into 9 and 1152, well, we have 9. 9 goes into both. So we're going to have 9 pi also as a factor. And inside it, we've got r squared plus 128 over r. Close brackets. Cool. Now this is where the differentiation comes in guys, so what we're going to do, change, change colour again, we're going to go, we're going to then differentiate the cost with respect to radius, so we're going to have d cost, d radius, which is going to be equal to, now this is equal to, we'll just sit out the front, so we're going to have just 9 pi, that's pretty average looking, 9 pi, outside of 2r plus, no this is going to be minus, can take it up to the top, so it's going to be r to the negative 1 minus 128 over r squared. Now, anyone wants to know how I did that second part? 128 on r is equal to 128 r to the negative 1, which we would differentiate by going negative 1 times 128 is equal to negative 128, drop the power, r to the negative 2, which is equal to negative 128 over r squared. Okay, so, because we're trying to minimise cost, we're trying to set the cost, the derivative of the cost function to 0, so we're just going to go, this is equal to 0, we'll divide both sides by 9 pi, so it'll still be equal to 0. So we're going to have 2r minus 128 over r squared equals 0. We can take the fraction to the right. Multiply the r up. Divide both sides by 2, cube root both sides, there we are, r equals 4 metres. Now, because we know that height is 192 over r squared, we can say, let's put this with a comma here, h is equal to 192 over 4 squared, which is 16, so the height is going to be equal to 12 meters. So those are the dimensions of this cylinder that will minimize the cost. Now, hopefully for you guys, it's e it's sort of intuitive that if you've got a cost of the bottom, which is nine dollars a square meter, and a cost for the sides, which is only three bucks, to get a particular volume, you're going to want a cylinder that's quite long and skinny because it's cheaper to make it long and skinny than it is to make it short and fat. So our one is long and skinny. So, um, you know, that's probably good. like if you're in an exam, you can go, yeah, do it like a 10 second check. Does this make sense? Yes, we're using more of the sides than we are of the bottom. 
Okay, so what did we do here? Well, what we first did is we identified all of our pr parameters, like we have this 192 pi for our volume and our dollar signs for our costs. What we then did is we sort of identified the fact that both of the surface area and volume equations for a cylinder are in terms of two different variables. So what we did is we used the volume equation to relate the two variables, radius and height. So we came, were able to come up with a height in terms of radius equation. What we then did is we had our function which we, we tried to optimize. Well, we tried, we did optimize. So we came up with our function where we were optimizing, 9 pi r squared plus 6 pi r h. Then what we did is we substituted in this constraint, which we found by using the volume. And then what we were left with is we were left with a cost function that was only in terms of radius. We then made it look a bit simpler. We then differentiated it, set it equal to zero because um, you know your minimum cost is is where um, the derivative of the cost function with respect to any variable is equal to zero. It's where that turning point is. So we found we set it equal to zero. We solved for the radius. We then plugged what we got for radius back into this um, height in terms of radius sort of relationship to find volume. And then that's all we wrote. Well, that's all she wrote. To be perfectly honest, we, we were then just like, do our quick intuition check, does this make sense? And then we'd go on to the next question. So I hope this video helped, guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, well, sorry about that. Um, you know, if you feel like it, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time and I'm not that... I'll always try and solve your problems if you ask me any questions. Um, I'll do it to the best of my ability anyway. But um, until next time, guys, um, enjoy your study. And uh, yeah, talk to you soon.